Hi, this is Greg with California GSP Rescue, and I'm here with part two of the Ursa Rescue video. Uh, you're gonna to have to watch the whole video. You gotta to watch to the very end because we have some special news for you. You're gonna, you're not gonna to wanna to miss. So two weeks ago, just over two weeks ago, we rescued Ursula from the Humane Society in the Central Valley. She had been hit by a car and been at the, the Humane Society for over a month. They had her listed as a Labrador Retriever mix not something that we're going to be monitoring, never hit our radar until she'd been there almost well, over a month. And we got notified. We asked a couple questions. We asked if she had a single coat and we asked if her tail was docked. And they both said yes. And that at that point, things began to change for Ursula. We could help a lab, but we, we can't place a lab as easily as we can place a German short hair pointer and what she was going to require, what the medical attention she needed, we, we could provide. So when she came in, she had been hit by a car and there, her leg was broken in actually six spots. Three of her digits were broken and they were in pretty bad shape. They had some substantial skin injuries in between that they had to monitor and medicate. Then she had, this was broken right here on her leg in two parts and then it's broken up here. This part will never heal. This part is healed, this part will never heal. The vet at the Humane Society had recommended amputating this, this leg. And when Dr. Kong performed the surgery, he spayed her and he removed some mammary tumors, which was pretty extensive surgery as it turned out. He recommended watching her for two weeks to see if she could adapt to the leg without the splint. Prior to that, they had had a splint on it. She did. She's done wonderful for the past two weeks. Uh, we've walked her every day. You can see every, we got a little video where we made of her walking for seven days straight. And you can see by the seventh day, she's quite a, adapted to that leg and she knows how to maneuver it so she can actually put some weight on it. Now given her age and given the amount of the trauma she would go through that we feel as per Dr. Kong, we're going to leave that leg on. We're not going to amputate the leg. To walking normal, but better than amputation. Right, That's right. We choose that. Right. That's it. Better than amputation. Ursula is going to keep her leg, and she's doing well with other dogs, amazingly well. She is so, such a personality. She talks to you. Uh, she has this beautiful. And she just lets you know she wants something and she's just been 100 percent just an uh, absolute delight uh, she is we pretty sure she's house trained at some point while she doesn't show it at some point she must have been in a house but this these marks here are typically from being on a hard surface with no bedding so we're going to get her back and we'll continue monitoring her and see, seeing how she she progresses uh, we are looking for her forever home hopefully we get that pretty soon it's a little wet day in southern california and we have one more stop to make with ursula stick around you're gonna like this I'm just leaving Ursula's forever home. When we sent the email, Lynn responded and she sent a text and she put Ursula question mark. She just recently lost her dog and she wasn't in a position at the time to get adopt another dog. So I'm like, look, she has a, an appointment with Dr. Kong and soon as she's done with that appointment, we will have a better idea when she'll be available. So when Dr. Kong released her yesterday, I gave Lynn a call. And normally I don't deliver dogs, but this is the reason you want to subscribe. I'm on my way to get two more dogs, which has been crazy. So I wanted to share this special moment with you. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you, thank you guys.